Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Dark Souls 3. We are about to conclude the game. Before I do so, I would like to just knock out one little trophy really quickly. That is good. What? Let's infuse my fire longsword. I can do anything? I know, I'll do a heavy gem. I know, I'll do a sharp gem. Perhaps a refined gem? No, no. Let us in fact do a raw gem. What am I thinking? Crystal gem, clearly. No, 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 wait, that can't be right. Simple gem. No, no. Uh, chaos gem? Well, what if I did lightning? Oh, shucks, I don't know about this. What if I did maybe a blessed gem? No, no. Deep gem? Hmm, that seems pretty good. Dark gem, actually? Hmm, I'm not feeling it. Blood gem? Poison? Hollow. No, this isn't, none of this is working for me. Oh, I did it! I'm a master of infusion. Let's go back to fire. There we go. Because I don't feel like having to get all the embers for him to be able to infuse everything on some new game plus. No, now I would rather do what I can to prepare to beat the game. I'm not exactly sure how to go about doing it either. Read engraving. What if I land on the throne? Okay, good. Let us offer the cinders of a lord. There it is, look at that. I think I might have to fall off. Like I think like I don't think you're really supposed to do this at once. It's kinda of like a stop by and do it kind of thing. But that's alright. Now the second throne is taken. Not a big deal. We will do the next throne. Offer cinders of a lord. That's looking real good. Next, I might have skipped a throne already, not a problem. Offer cinders of a lord. Oh man. Alright, which throne did I miss? Oh, that's because it was way up there. Alright. Easy enough to fix. We'll make this work. Yeah, the really big one. Or not. I have to go ever higher. There we are. Way up top. I've done it. The firekeeper actually moves, starts walking. You know this is going to be significant. The five lords sit their five thrones. All thanks to thee, most worthy of lords. Ashen one, with the lords as thy witness. Bend thy knee afore the bonfire's coiled sword, and let the Lord's embers acknowledge thee as their true heir, a true Lord, fit to link the fire. Ashen One, may I pose thee a question? Has the little Lord Ludlet spoken to thee of any curious matters? Oh, yeah? I sense that he possesses some knowledge of a thing once most precious, almost terrible, now lost to the fire keepers. Pray tell, is it a matter of which I should be apprised? Interesting. Ashen one, may has the little I offered. Huh. Anyway. Well, Ashen one. May the flame. Here it comes. Mm. 
noble lords of Cinder. The fire fades. And the lords go without thrones. Surrender your fires to the true heir. Let him grant death to the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. Yeah, Lordran was Dark Souls 1. Kiln of the first flame. It's all back to the beginning. I guess I just go outside. I'm just kind of checking around the thrones though. There's the exit. Probably nothing else around here anyway. Well, okay. The names of the people who sit atop the thrones. But. Okay. Really? Oh boy. Just like Dark Souls 1, this place was blasted. Like this too. Flameless shrine, kill of the first flame. Do you think I could easily parry this boss to death too? That is some visual. Oh hey, it's that Field of Swords in Berserk where Guts fought Zod, except this isn't snowy. Soul of Cinder. I got this. Some ship. Are we just going to loot this? Grand Upper. What? That's some... Whoa. Alright.
kind of a joke of a boss. Oh. Really? I thought that simply walking out of the way would do it. Oh, we changed again. Okay. Uh, awesome. What? Oh, that's not good. What did he do, like, Iron Flesh or something? Is he just, like, supreme defense? Wow, three of those. This honestly isn't that bad. Even if I'm getting greedy with my two strikes instead of just one. Oh, did he change back to his first form? Get wrecked, buddy, I got ya. Goodness gracious. That's some sword. Damn. Okay. Am I allowed to parry this guy? I feel like a fool for even thinking about it. I I'm so curious. But I can't really afford to try it. His health isn't terrible. Ah, that was a little slow on my part. Or a little fast, actually. Oh, the Gwyn grab. Yeah, I'm not having that. Honestly, not terrible. Don't get hit by that, though. Th this is not terrible. What the- uh, what? Rain of Lightning? Okay. Alright. Boom. Let's quickly... Damn. Don't get crabbed. <laughs> I gotta stop doing the double strikes. Single is so unsatisfying, but I really just deserve that. I really should, though. One. Ah, oh, bam. This guy's not bad. That was really stupid of me, though. I'm all right. Oh, that's the, the rain of lightning. I don't know what to do about that. I guess just tank. Whatever, right? One. Ah, oh, crap. Whammo. Whammo. That's the one I like. It's over quickly. One. 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 Okay. Uh, I, I just tank again? No, there it is. There it is. One. Okay. Wait for it. Ah, it still tag me. One. It's all right. I think I'm good. First try, baby. First try. Soul of the Lords, Lord of Cinder Fallen. And there it is, a hundred thousand souls. Now, here's the thing. This is the, the typical thing you'd expect of me. 
right? I touch this bonfire, the game is over. I am not going to do that. I am going to go home. That's one thing I want to take care of. That's a devious little trick on this game's part. Mr. Transpose Souls is no longer here, so I can't turn the boss weapon or soul into a weapon. I must do it on the next game. That's okay though. That's all right. So what's my what's my reward? I can still do the trans. Never mind. But I could take the skull ring. I guess I'll begin transposition. Why the hell not? I can make a sunlight spear miracle, the thing he threw at me. Miracle of Gwyn, the first lord, hurls a sunlight spear. The tales of Gwyn's arch dragon hunts describe the inception of the Age of Fire. Got it. Then, there is also, if I could find it, not that I can use it now, the Fire Link. Great sword. The Lords of Cinder linked the first flame, and this great sword was wielded by their deific manifestation. That's why he had four weapons, he was the four lords. This coiled sword, found thrust in the bonfire, existed long before the throneless lords themselves. Skill. Ember. Illuminate and launch itself forward. That's one thing taken care of, right? Now, why don't I take a look at the skull ring, because I have no idea what this is good for. Easier to be detected by enemies. Interesting. One of Corlan's transposed wonders, derived from the soul of a soul feeder. Uh, this soul feeder was a beast that insatiably absorbed souls to feed its own power. Even after its accursed corpse was burned, it is said that the pungent stench of souls left the air permanently stained. Well, now, my friends, I have a choice. I have a decision to make. Just like Dark Souls, you have multiple endings, except in Dark Souls, you had two endings. Well, Dark Souls 3, why don't, why don't we just go ahead and find out? First of all, I will talk to the Firekeeper. Ashen One, link the fire. For the Lords of Cinder. For the Ashen Prisoners. For all those held to preserve the fire, link the first flame. <laughs> Why haven't you done it yet? Anyway, so I will give the firekeeper soul to the firekeeper. Ashen one, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. The fire keeper is now able to heal the dark sigil. Remember those things I got for the free levels up? From Yuria and for the, the dark priest? Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Heal the dark sigil. Oh my god! A million what why that that's insane how the hell Ashen one. guess I better level then huh well as you can see I am a complete madman look at all these souls remember how I got those dark sigils and that came with getting levels for nothing well if you want to get rid of the dark sigils you have to pay for them by the cost of what it would be to level up. And it's all or nothing. So I have to get rid of all eight sigils at once by paying the cost of what it would cost me to level up eight times. And that is uh, a million ninety thousand souls. So I'm gonna do that. Uh. Ugh. 
Halloween reversed. I did it. Dark Sigil's been healed. Ashen one. And just to show you an initial consequence of that, let us go talk to Yuria, who was pretty dead set on our keeping those dark sigils. Thus forsworn the Lord's mark. There is not more to say. Farewell, our fleeting Lord. Thus forsworn, there is not farewell. Can't buy from her anymore. She's done. She dropped us. I mean, I already bought everything she has, but you know, if I hadn't, oof, made her mad. Anyway, I purified myself so that I may access the final bonfire and reach the very end of the game. Why don't we go ahead and do that? And now we run up to the bonfire where we left the boss. Let me tell you, I am glad that this game lets you just keep playing after defeating the final boss, but before triggering the end credits. Made this a lot more doable. Anyway, welcome to the Kiln of the First Flame. Welcome to our battleground. Let us beat the game. Link the First Flame. That was it. Just like Dark Souls 1, it's a very basic ending. And there are our credits. We've done it. That's... Wow. I gotta say, Dark Souls 1's ending was more engaging than that, and that was kind of a nothing ending. Here we just... Sit down. This time I think we'll do things a little bit differently. We've already given her the Soul of a Firekeeper, but what if we also give her the eyes? Ashen one, are these, are these eyes? How gracious of thee, Ashen one, the very things we firekeepers have been missing. Did it. Ashen one, my thanks for the eyes thou's given. But firekeepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen One, is this truly thy wish? I wish for a world without flame. Of course. I serve thee and will do as thou bidst. This will be our private affair. No one else may know of this. Stay thy path. Find lords to link the fire. And I will blindly tend to the flame. Until the day of thy grand betrayal. Oh my god. Ashen one. Forgive me if this soundeth strange. The eyes show a world without fire. A vast stretch of darkness. But tis different to what is seen when stripped of vision. In the far distance, I sense the presence of tiny flames. Like precious embers, left to us by past lords, linkers of the fire. Could this be what draws me to this strangely enticing darkness? 
Interesting. Ashen one, if thine heart should bend, kill me and strip these eyes from my person. I will return as the firekeeper I once was, as it has always been. Ashen one, kill us. I wonder if, like, I could actually do that. Mayst thou thy peace discover. Very interesting. Here we are back at the kiln of the first flame, but wait. What is this? Summon the fire keeper. First flame quickly fades. Darkness will shortly settle. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. like embers linked by Lord's past. I can actually move around during this. During an ending, but it slowly fades to black. Ashen One. Hearest thou my voice still? The end of fire just fade to black. Interesting. And very minimalistic too. This next trick I'm going to try... I do not believe has a trophy associated with it. It's almost like a secret ending. But I'm gonna do it. And I will let this movie play through again because we'll see what happens once gameplay is restored. And I want this to be a smooth transition. I'm very excited to see how this works, especially because it's something that I can do during gameplay that I don't have much time to try. But we summoned her. And she's going to, I think, unwillingly do the ritual. Bringing about an age of pure darkness. But remember what she said when we last spoke with her. That's what I want to see if I can capitalize on. So she gathers the flame. And we wait for the ritual to begin. Here we go. The first flame quickly fades. Darkness will shortly settle.
But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Like embers linked by Lord's past. Wait for the gameplay to resume. I don't have much time, but we're going to make this work. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be Cinder. And so it is that Ash seeketh embers. Interesting. So I perhaps I repented of my initial sin, or at least attempted to. I suspect this ending was patched in like Dark Souls 2's Scholar of the First Sin ending. You don't get a trophy for it, but it's cool that it exists. Now this is the ending I think I'm most excited about. On account of my eight Dark Sigils, I have them all. What happens if I do what Yuria wanted? Link the first flame. Usurpation of Fire. A pretty brief ending anyway, but that's somewhat reminiscent of Dark Souls 1's dark ending where you walk through the rows of those large serpents like Frampton Kath. Well, that's pretty cool. We beat Dark Souls. We got all the endings. And now there's only a matter of cleanup. Begin Journey 2 in the current state. And I could say no and just keep playing the game and getting more stuff. Which is awesome. But I'm going to go ahead to Journey 2 because that's where I can get new stuff. And we return to the Cemetery of Ash, missing particular key items, but ready for a whole other quest.